Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am joining you today in the evening and we are upstairs in a little closet room hanging out next to the vanity table here. This is where I keep all of my clothes. This is where I keep a condensed everyday pile of makeup for getting ready. And since we moved into this uh, place last summer, I have done two two, I believe, little everyday makeup switch-ups. And the last one I did was actually on December 4th. And I know that it's technically not spring yet, but I am just, the sun was shining today. I don't care what the actual date is meant to be. I am ready for spring now. And I thought I would do a little spring clean with you guys here today and go through my makeup and do a proper like full revamp and tidy and organization of my everyday makeup vanity table, which is just a disaster. My up here is a disaster. This studio is a disaster and I'll show you guys that in a bit, but I thought it'd be fun to just take everything out, do a full cleanup, and then you guys will get a complete overview of the products that I am going to be switching up and keeping in my everyday vanity desk for the up coming season. I know I haven't like fully talked about it yet, but please bear with me. I do have my Invisalign trays in and I do have upper and bottom and um, I have been filming all day <laughs> and I've had them out all day and it's so bad. I need to keep it in, but I also need to film this video. So please bear with me. Just enjoy this little lisp while she's here. I promise you won't be hearing this in every video coming up, but um, that's just the way the timing happened today, friends. So let us begin. Let's just do a full tidy kind of game plan here today. I'm gonna show you guys the little, the little desk I have up here. We're gonna empty it out. I brought up some bins from the studio. We're gonna take all the makeup down, do a good little tidy and clean up, maybe some decluttering in the studio, and then decide what makeup is going to live up here for the spring and I think it's a nice way to get a look at what like particular pieces I'm switching out for the spring as the weather's getting warmer. For example, maybe putting away some of my more thick winter items. You guys will get a good glimpse of it all. So let's let's show you the, the table. <laughs> so here's the table in all of her glory. There's some random stuff here. I've got a ton of brushes, the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum brushes. This was a little brush holder I had. This was makeup I was playing with today. This is a jar of my long lip items. We've got tissue, brush cleaner, a headband, and then these are the two drawers that I essentially use to get ready with. I know it's a lot. There's so many lip products over there that are unnecessary that I have not touched in so long. Like I really ideally will be cutting this in half today and hopefully that will mean that I won't have anything lingering on the top of the drawers. But this is the current situation of the, the vanity table up here. So I'm just gonna empty it all out into the bins and then we can head downstairs and go through it all. Okay, so I managed to fit all of the makeup from the drawers into these two bins. The one product I am gonna keep up here is my Charlotte Tilbury powder because I do use that every day. I'm also leaving my two face sprays up here. No sense taking that down, but everything else is gonna come with us. We're gonna take the bins and I'm also going to take this with us downstairs. I need you guys to brace yourselves for what you're about to witness in here. It's an absolute disaster. Please do not judge me before I have sinned. <laughs> Where do I begin? <laughs> so I think the best way to tackle this is to put everything away first. As you guys just saw, I just have miscellaneous piles of crap absolutely everywhere. I just brought the bins down. So what I'm gonna do is actually empty out all of the makeup. I'm gonna put it all away and then we can go through, perhaps declutter some areas and then select the new makeup that we want to take upstairs. So I put the bins here. Let's give it an empty. <laughs> go through those first, put them away, and then we'll continue on with the clean. <laughs> so this is all of the makeup that existed in those two drawers, which is a lot, a lot of makeup. What I'm gonna do right now is go through this really quickly. I'm gonna pick out the products that are for sure staying upstairs. For example, the three mascaras that I currently have open, my Benefit Hula that is part of my project pan, and my current brow products that I am using and loving. In the 
collection in the, the mega Sephora back there. <laughs> there are a few drawers that are just bursting. So I wanted to pull them out and go through them, see if there's any expired products, see if there's any products that I'm not getting along with anymore and just do a really brief declutter with you of the primers and the foundation drawer because this is just, this is just madness. So I'm just gonna scoop the foundation over for a second. Let's start with the primer. We're gonna go through, see what we have and pull out some of our favorites that we want to use for spring and take it upstairs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go through and just pull out all of my like very thick, thick, heavy winter primers, if you will, like the Embroilies. And I'm just gonna take those and put the winter ones in the drawer. Great, that really narrowed it down. <laughs> Okay, so this is the pile I have ended up with to take upstairs and it's pretty much just following up with my project pan moment. The Victoria Beckham Golden Primer, I really haven't given this one too much of a try and I'm scared that this one's gonna go bad soon. My Vichy Mineral 89 and this Smashbox Primerizer, both of these are nearing the end. So I definitely wanna take these upstairs and attempt to use those up. They're also like nice lighter bases to be switching out for the warmer spring weather. Um, my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, haven't used this in so long. I truly don't even remember what it feels like, but I know I used to love it and I want to pull this back out and give it another go. Um, this MAC Gold Light Strobe Cream, I do have another one in the drawer. I also have another Smashbox Primerizer. This one also just has a little bit left, so I'm gonna take this up and try and use that up. And then I wanna have some pore addressing primers. I'm gonna take the NYX Pore Filler because I haven't used this in a little bit. I've been really playing a lot with these little stick ones. So I'm gonna take this and also the Maybelline Master Blur Stick and take those upstairs for the primer. This is my brief declutter pile from the primer drawer. A few of these have just gone bad for sure. Like like I know that this Hollywood flawless filter is bad. I know that these are way past their expiration date, which is really, really sad. Did a little pump of one out and it was really curdly and gross. This Bite Beauty Change Maker is also super, super old. Um, these Kevin Aquan face gloves, I know I loved them so much when they first came out and I used them a ton, but I just honestly haven't used them and those are now so, so, so old. Um, and a few of these were just not my right shade, like these Vesca ones. This is either going to be disposed of if they're bad or passed on to another home if they can be. This is the declutter pile. And then this is what remains in the drawer. So like I said, all the things that I'm taking upstairs are just gonna be part of my everyday makeup. I still film most of my videos here in the studio and this is where the bulk of my makeup collection lives. So these drawers still do see a lot of love, but at least this one isn't now overflowing. It's a little less bursting. So that is the updated primer drawer. It's still a lot. It's still a lot. Now it's time for foundation. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that was hard. That took a long time. Um, <laughs> for going upstairs, I'm gonna take my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundations. I'm actually almost done these. These are on some good final squeezes here, so I think it would be good to use those up. And then I really wanna play more with these two particular foundations, L'Oreal True Match and the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. Just wanna see how they kind of differ. So I've really been loving these and I really like that. Just kinda wanna play a little bit more just so I can compare the two of them. And then I've been seeing a lot of talk about the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. So I wanted to pull this out of the stocks. I haven't used it in a really long time. Um, so I'm gonna take that up. We do have an okay declutter pile here. A lot of these honestly are just bad. Some of them, like this Ilia one, I smelled and it actually smelled. <laughs> like so disgusting um and then this Shiseido one I don't know what is happening here but it is just exploding all out of the lid like from the bottom here so that's gotta go and then some of them are just super old some of them um like the Chantecaille one the shade was like way too dark this has never worked for me same with this Caudalie one it's just very very dark this is the little declutter pile I just put everything back in the drawer I did my little insert in here that has all of my deeper shades so hopefully come summer I'll be dabbling a little bit more in these and then those are the rest still a lot this is aggressive I understand but now we have a little bit of a condensed version going back in the drawers so now that we've got our bases, the primers and foundations set, we did a nice little declutter because those two drawers in particular <laughs> were overflowing as you witnessed. And now I'm going to go through the rest of the collection and just pick through 
a few of the rest of the products that I want to have in there. Some blushes, some highlighters. We've pretty much got bronzer covered. And then do a little switch out of the lip products for maybe some brighter, more spring-esque colors. And then once we take it all upstairs, I can go through and show you each of the products individually when they're all put in the vanity desk. But I'm just gonna do a nice little speed through this cause your girl is indecisive and this is gonna take me a while. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna unload all of the makeup into here and then I'll be able to take you through the new everyday makeup lineup. Now we have one final great daunting task to do before the night is done. <laughs> and that is to wash the brushes. Here we are, the most daunting task. Why did I leave this for the last possible moment? I don't know, but it wouldn't be a proper spring cleaning makeup switching out if we didn't tackle the brushes. This is a reminder for you, my good people. Wash your brushes, it's very important and it should not only be done seasonally. <laughs> Whoa, the brushes are all washed. I'm gonna check in with you guys in the morning when they're all dry and ready to be put away. And we'll do a final overview of the vanity. Good night. Oh, good morrow, everyone. Look at all of these clean, dry brushes. How stunning. Let's put them away and take them upstairs. <laughs> wow, look at this clean surface, guys. Much different feeling than it was yesterday. The biggest thing that I was excited to do here, obviously just doing the makeup switch up anyway, but I've been having so many products living on top of here that weren't fitting in a drawer. So I just wanted to make sure I had a nice condensed amount, like in normal circumstances, if I wasn't doing YouTube, this is probably a good idea of what my makeup collection or like my vanity would look like, you know, if I didn't have Sephora's warehouse downstairs, so. <laughs> Just feels a lot more clean. I didn't want to have too much clutter here. You know, whenever I'm filming up here, I always have a camera like in this area if I'm sitting or if I'm properly filming. I just don't like too much in the way, like my elbows hitting too many things. So wanted to clear this out. I actually ended up switching my little brush holders around. I brought these little cement ones up instead. I've had these since Calgary bought them. They were actually uh, succulents used to live in here. And I went back and went through those old videos. I wanted to see where they were. I used to film in front of this shelf in my old apartment in Calgary. And in these pots once lived succulents that uh, did not make it unfortunately, but I've used them as my brush holders ever since. Anyway, I had these downstairs in the studio and usually up here, I just had that one little glass and gold rimmed jar and that's what I kept all of my brushes in, but I actually prefer to have them separated with face and eye. So that's how I have these living here. I put my beauty blender in here and I have the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum uh, green case that is now holding the rest of my brushes in the studio downstairs. So I actually think that works out so much better. Got all the long, long lips things, some scissors. I've got a nail file in here and then we have this cute little plant and I've got my headband. So that is the finished top of the vanity. I actually took this hideous, my tissue box, and I just hit it here on the windowsill so it doesn't actually get in the way as an eyesore. So this feels much more clean and usable. Let us dive in and do the final overview of the makeup products that are in the vanity. All right, in drawer number one, this is where the bulk of my face products are now living. We've got foundations, primers, concealers and powder, and then bronzing and contouring goodness. These are a little bit mix and match, but you get the general idea. I've got the Victoria Beckham Golden Primer in here, which I wanted to do a proper test of. I brought the L'Oreal True Match Foundations because I'm just loving mixing them. And depending on whether or not I have a tan on, it's kind of nice to have both options for when I'm super pale and mix that in. I wanted to retry the Glossier Skin Tint. Haven't tried that in so long. I brought the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundations up because I'll be able to use them up and hopefully include them in my like project pan updates, I guess. And then I also brought up the Maybelline Radiant Liquid Foundation because I wanted to give you guys an update on how it compares to my L'Oreal one. So that's what's living in here. Onto the primers, I already talked through all the primers that are living in here, basically switching up to a little bit more of a lighter base under the makeup and then wanting to continue on the lifestyle of the pore filling primers. This one didn't fit in here. 
<laughs> but that's okay because we have some space but the Chanel water tint I've also got some face wipes and some tissues for any spills and accidents that might happen we've got the Charlotte Tilbury powder in here and then this was a little bit wonky I've got concealers these are some that I want to be using I brought up my L'Oreal age perfect I bought a new fresh Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's been such a long time since I used this and I wanted to get a fresh one to jog my memory on this one. And then I also brought up my Surratt concealer because I like to have like a more thick concealer for spot concealing. I wanted to get some use out of this because it's been a really long time sitting in my collection with no love. And then underneath that, I actually recently picked up a Makeup Forever powder. I bought this for an upcoming video. I'm not gonna give you too many hints on that, but there was someone who's been using this and I really wanted to try it out. So I thought I'd bring it up here to see how it compares day to day to my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And then in here we've got bronzers, contour, and highlight. I've got my Danessa Myricks contour brom, which I love. The Lila B, this is one of my favorite uh, shimmery bronzers, if you will, to use. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I love using this one just for quick and easy, bronzer and highlight. Then I brought back the Vesca Wish highlight. I miss having that one in my day. Continuing the Benefit Hula, the bronzer that never dies. I've got my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I've got Nude Sticks Hey Honey, Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. As the weather gets a little bit warmer, I love to continue bringing out my cream products. And then I've been seeing a lot of this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand and I wanted to pull that back out and reacquaint myself with it. So those are all of the bronzers, contours, and highlights that are now in the drawer and that completes the first drawer overview. Okay, and in the second drawer, we have a little bit more fun going on here, a little bit more color. In the previous setup, I had all of these like big tub products sitting on top of the vanity, so I decided to make room for them in here before it was just a ton of like lip products all over the place and I just did a little rejig in here. I've got my MAC Coconut Fix Plus, I've got the Benefit Professional Setting Spray, I've got my MAC Brush Cleanser. I just keep this up here because I'm very bad obviously with washing my brushes and this is a nice quick fix. Then in this section here, we've got some blushes. This is the one that's most likely to be switched up. I'm really, really habitual with my blushes and it's hard for me to switch it up, but with this section in particular, I really tried to shop my stash here. For example, the Rare Beauty one, I haven't used these cream blushes since I did my first initial review on it, so I wanted to pull that back out. This one's the shade Nearly Apricot, and I feel like that's a really nice shade for spring. It's been so long since I used my Tata Harper Very Charming Cheek Tint. This one got so, so, so much love from me before and I wanted to bring this back out because I feel like this is something that could be very well expired already but I wanted to bring that back out nice bright spring pink I have not used these Dior blushes in so long they're lovely bright fresh colors for spring and thought it would be fun to kind of pull those back out of the makeup stash archive then I bought the uh, tower 28 rush hour this is the new shade from them nice fresh peachy tone for spring and then for a nude blush option I brought up my Laura Mercier fresco I love 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 this nude blush and it's got a nice shimmer to it so there's been a lot of blushes that I've been using on repeat and I want to switch it up a little bit shop my stash and pull some different shades out of the archive so that's the blush then into the eye section you'll notice a lot of similarities in the colors here you guys know how much I love just my one one and done as they say eyeshadow I love to put just a nice deeper brown shade on for my everyday makeup so this is basically a mixing pot of a bunch of those. Some of them I wanted to shop my stash with. MAC Groundwork, for example. This is a shadow I haven't used in quite a while. Wanted to pull that out of the stocks. Oh my god, I pulled out Dior Meteor, which is a product I've loved for so long, tragically discontinued, but thought it'd be fun to pull this out and give it some love. I actually already had this up here, but the Tom Ford Abyssinian. Love this color so much. It's a lot it's just like a much warmer version of MAC Groundwork. And then this is a product that I've actually had for a long time. I bought it and I've never used it. And I've been talking about my brown eyeliners and yeah, I pulled this out of the stash, another shopping my stash moment, the MAC Dip Down Brown Liner. So I grabbed that, made sure to include my eyeliner brush in the brushes and I'm excited to play around with that. Then we've got the Armani Eye Tint. This one's in the shade 39. Love the look of this color, absolutely beautiful. Brought up Nude Sticks Fig and Chocolate, classic, classic colors. 
I haven't used the Laura Mercier Cocoa Eye Pencil in such a long time. Wanted to pull that out, become reacquainted. And then my Victoria Beckham Cocoa Satin Kajel Liner. Absolute staple in my everyday makeup for sure. So while we're talking about eyes, let's just jump back here. I've got some little eye palettes sitting here. I absolutely love having Victoria Beckham Tweed. This is a shade I use so much. Love having the deeper brown. I just love the size of these. Perfect everyday eyeshadows. And then I also brought up the Signature Palette just for a little bit more of a cool toned option to have up here. I love these so much. I would happily just have them sitting on my desk. They're so gorgeous. Oh dear. Okay, JK, that did not function. MAC brush cleanser is going back downstairs. Good to know. So then underneath that, I grabbed the Dior Backstage Palette. This is the Warm Neutrals. And there's definitely a pattern with the eyeshadows that I love for every day. So I wanted to pull this one out. Haven't used this in a really long time. Now for the lips, this was another shopping my stash moment. There were a few products in here that I just hadn't used in a really long time, like these MAC Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks. Nice, bright, fun colors for spring. I don't really remember how I get on with this formula, so I wanna put this up here to remind myself to use it. This is a Chanel lipstick that I've had for a really long time that has just gotten zero use from me and I need to remind myself to use it. My Revlon lip balm, true, true love. I brought a Dior nude lipstick up here. I have the Burt's Bees Squeezy Tinted Lip Balm and Watermelon Rush. I've been loving those so much. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Gasm. This is such a staple, an everyday staple for me. I love this lip balm so, so, so much. And then these are a few other lipsticks that I just wanna remind myself to use. This is the Chantecaille Patience. This is one that Nikki Makeup always talks about. I haven't used the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick in so long, so I wanted to bring up a nice vibrant red. Another Chanel lipstick. This is actually the Lip Balm, a beautiful, like bright, fresh pink that I've never used and I bought it so long ago. And then this is the Lisa Eldridge Love of My Life. I need to use the Lisa to Eldridge lipsticks more. I have got to keep some in my everyday rotation. So those are the lipsticks that I brought out that I wanted to give a little bit more attention. And then the final section of the drawer, this is the miscellaneous like mascaras, brow products, and also lip balms. We've got a little sharpener back there. I've got two lip balms here. This is a Biosance one and then a Goop Beauty lip balm. I've got my Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is the MAC Giga Black Extended Play Mascara that I'm using for my bottom lashes. I've got my Surat Inner Beauty, what's it called? Light Baton? This one needs a wipe, holy moly, that is filthy. I love to use that on my extra tired days when I need some help in my inner waterline. I've got my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I definitely don't talk about that a lot, but I actually use that on days when I'm not feeling like doing my brows. If I'm wearing no makeup, I always put a brow gel in my brows no matter what, and this is just my like favorite kind of quick fix. I've got the Refi Brow Sculpt in here, and then the three mascaras that I have open and on the go right now. I told myself I wasn't gonna open any new mascaras until I at least go through one of these. I've got the Bite Up Swing, Marc Jacobs at Lashed, and the Lancome Lash Edol. And that, my friends, is everything in this drawer. Now for a final uh, section, I did want to show you guys, I'm not going to go through every lipstick in here, but this is my long lips jar, if you will. And this is where I keep my everyday lip liners. I also store my brow pens upside down here so that the product is falling nicely. So I've got the NYX Lift and Snatch brow tint pens stored upside down here. I've got a pen, a pair of scissors, always needing those. <laughs> I've got a little nail file here, and then just a bunch of like, again, more colorful lip products, just some lip products that I want to pull out into the stash to remind myself to use. I've also got my Nude Sticks Send Nudes, of course, in here. I've got a clear lip gloss. This is the Marc Jacobs one, love that one. I've got my Victoria Beckham lip pencils and the Makeup Forever lip pencil, and then a few bright, fun colors that I just wanted to pull out and remember to use. Like, hello, Tower 28 Fire. It is time to bring this back out, my people. The MAC Shot of Color Lip Oils, love these so much, and the colors are so great for spring. Yeah, those are the products that are living in the jar, and I'm also just gonna keep my little cute headband here for when I'm doing my makeup. I'll just store it like this. It doesn't really stay, but, um, it's nice to have that to keep my hair out of the way while I'm doing my makeup in the morning. This is from a brand called Lelit NY. Absolutely beautiful. This was a lovely gift to receive. So thank you so much, Lelit. I have been loving using that in my getting ready routine. All right, guys. So that is everything I wanted to go through in this video. Thanks for coming along with me as I've done this lovely spring makeup routine switch up, doing a nice little switch up of the everyday products that I'm using in my vanity. It's a good little sneak peek for you guys to see what I'm going to be using 
working on my face and my day-to-day -day makeup routines and a few of the products that I wanted to pull out and some colors I'm switching out for the spring season. I know it's a little bit early, it's a little bit before spring, but the weather has just been delightful, the sun has been shining, and I am ready for spring to be here already in my soul. And so that's what we made happen today, guys. There's my little spring beauty refresh. A good little makeup spring cleaning. Maybe that's what I should title this video. Hmm, I'm still undecided, but we've got options. And this is another reminder as you finish this video, go wash your brushes. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and my lisp here today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below what products you're gonna be switching out into your spring beauty routine. I would love to hear from you and what that looks like. What products are you loving right now? And what are you most excited about for spring? I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world, my good people. Thank you so much as always for watching. I still can't handle this lisp. And I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye.